Well, hello everybody! Welcome back! I had another issue with my recording stuff, so I had been recording for maybe like 10 minutes and it was all in a bunch of videos because a glitch happened. So, there was a lot of stuff I did just a few minutes ago. I was trying to record and it didn't really work. I got my fidget spinner. Got my green one. Um, but yeah, uh, you're probably wondering what this is all about. You probably, you, some of you guys, if you played Sky Factory 3, the newest version, you might know. But I'll explain that in a second. I'll explain that in a minute. This, it, they're iron sieves. Iron, iron stiff and mesh. They let me get different stuff. Uh, I'll explain everything one by one. So let's start with the mob farm. I finished the roof, so mobs spawn, spawn a lot more. And I put an absorption hopper. And how you make that... Right here. I got an ender pearl from an enderman. And I got the blaze powder from sieving. And I got a hopper just from getting iron in from a sieve. And then I got obsidian from putting lava over there in that stone barrel. And then putting water on top of it. And it makes obsidian. And you just take it out. And then this is an automatic mob farm. I upgraded the spikes from wood to stone. So they kill no matter what. And they pretty much drop from the exact distance we need them from. And this has just been collecting for uh, for maybe 20 minutes since I got on. So that's that's good. I moved all of the barrels in the ground so it's easier to do stuff with them. And there's a roof over them so no rain can get in here. And this. I promise you, I did make this all. I made all of it. I made a cobble gen. That chest over there is probably literally full of cobblestone. This takes the cobble, puts it in here. Oh, we got 4,000 lava. Well, we got we got fluid lava in here. Four thousand four four buckets of lava in each of these. So that's sixteen. And this is full. This is sixteen buckets also. And then this here takes lava and burns it and makes power. And it doesn't burn the bucket, so this this transfer node, once this is done, it takes the bucket out and puts it back in, and then this automatically is a push and it pushes the bucket in here. So that's how that works. And then over here, this is my chance cube area. I just had done a few chance cubes. It was supposed to be on cam, but my camera was glitching. I went to go check how long I'd been recording for, and it was only for 14 seconds. Because I tried using some hotkeys, and it kind of went haywire. So I got a rainbow. I There was a double rainbow here also, but I just broke it down because I just was okay with the big one. And then I got a disco party ball one, and it turned the whole thing into wool. So now if we get any lava ones... Rip platform for chance cubes and then this is the sieving area we up I upgraded the sieves off cam I made them into flint meshes so it's a higher chance with everything and then this is the stone barrel that I used for um, the the obsidian for the absorption hopper I'm actually gonna put some uh, some roof over this one because that's gonna kind of get annoying is it that's in the let me break that there we go. So let me eat real quick. There we go. Okay, so that should be good for basically uh, ex an explanation of everything that I did off cam. Uh, but yeah, it, it was a lot of grinding, a lot of tree farming. And yeah, I did, I did expand the tree farm out another four block layer. So that helps. And while I was recording a minute ago, I fell off the island. And I had to go down with water. That's why I had the bucket of water. And I had to go down and get my stuff. And I just got this gold and all that stuff recently. So let me turn some of these into gold. Ooh, how much do we have? We have 20, 20, 22. Nice. We got four, five gold nuggets. We only need four for a capacitor. Uh, we got the transfer nodes. Uh, let's put these in here because we don't really need them. This I got a fishing rod earlier from a chance cube also. That's really good actually. I might eat some of those sometime. Um, and we got all these uncommon loot bags from the mob farm. We got redstone! Oh, and we got an ender pearl and podzel. Okay, that one's kind of trashy. Ooh, pants. We don't have any pants yet and it's obsidian so it's going to last forever feathers and a black lotus this chest is basically already full actually I'm gonna take the redstone out in the ender pearl uh, okay let's put that stuff in there we still have nine redstone I had gotten a lot of redstone from sieving earlier um, 
So basically, we have all this power over here from the Sterling generator, and how we're going to use it, we're going to use it on auto hammer, which is 10 iron, 2 sticks, and a di and 2 diamonds, which we have to get that from sieving gravel and the iron stiffen meshes, but we'll do that in a minute. Uh, and then we're going to use an auto sieve, which is 20 iron, 4 glass panes, and a sieve. And this, both of these require power, so that's why I made this, and then we're also also gonna have to make an alloy smelter here it is so we need three furnaces which is 27 24 cobblestone and then overall we need 15 iron so four here seven here so that's 11 and then 11 plus four more is 15 i already have bars in the chest so we don't have to make any more bars so that's 15 iron and then this is a copper ingot, which we have, and then we have nine redstone, so we only need two, and that's why I said we needed the gold nuggets. So we could make that right now, but I don't really want to worry about that right now, because we don't even have, um, well, I think the alloy smelter is probably the best way to go first, because we need a way to transfer power. So we're going to have to combine an iron ingot with redstone in the alloy smelter, and that'll turn it into conductive iron. And then we can use that along with conduit binder, um... And then that'll make energy conduits that can transfer power to all of our machines pretty decent, decently fast. So, uh, we still have saplings. 42. Yeah, this is what I had to start growing with because I ran out of oak saplings. I used it all for dirt and then, uh, I used the rest for growing trees. Like, I had extras after I did, uh, composting and then... I left to go use the restroom and the island caught fire and destroyed all the leaves, so I had no oak saplings or any way to get them left. I mean, I can get them from common loot bags, but it's a low chance, I would assume. So, I was like, eh, there's really no problem in it, and I feel like birch wood is kind of cool. It looks really nice, too, so. It's, it's a nice wood. I'm okay with using it, though. Come on, tree, grow. There we go. Surprised you haven't gotten the thing for stick keys yet. Come on, who's gonna go first? They they grew at the same time. We also need a uh, compressed crook. Actually, hang on, hang on. Two hundred fifty-six. Well, you know we'll make a bunch of bone crooks because we have way too many bones now. Okay, so we got, here we go, we got bones in here. So that should be enough for 16, 16 bone crooks. But they're going to break faster. Okay, so 16, nice. Ooh, that's a good chunk. Mmm, -hmm. nice. Oh, so that's, that's not even all yet. There we go. Okay, let's drink, drink some juice. And then let's break th all these trees down. And yeah, when I watch Sunday and Craner do their Sky Factory 3 season... They did Sky Factory 2.5 season 3. When they did theirs, they had wood and they were like, Well, we don't have any other way to uh, make compost. And I'm pretty sure they had that in that version. I'm pretty sure they had wood chippings. They probably looked into it, so I would assume they probably didn't if they if they would be smart enough to look into that. But yeah, that's that's another easy way to make compost. That's why we had all those wood chippings in that chest because we have so much wood. Um, but the reason I'm making compost for dirt is because I want to have a decent sized animal farm, and we don't really have any other use for dirt. Unless if we're building a large, just a large dirt platform somewhere. I don't know. Um. Man, my face is itching like crap, man. I didn't realize we were in a taiga. It's like the perfect biome. It rains. It, well, it doesn't rain too much. Oh, we got a purple strip on the mini-map. Look at that. It's from the, the rainbow, because the top layer is purple. You can't really see any other color. Because it's not a side view. It's only top view. Uh, no! I don't want sticky keys! Fine, then we'll run around you. Like it's a ritual. 
run around the tree. There we go, Gru. Okay. Ow! That hurt. Kinda. Oh, there we go. Okay. Bone crook time. Bam! We got a lot of saplings and wood already from this, so that's good. Bam! Bam! Okay, we got all of it, I believe. So now let's chop this down here. Break all the wood. We can even use wood for fuel over there if we ran out of lava somehow, which we won't. Because we have endless lava from lava, or from cobblestone. So. We got all these saplings, we got all the silkworms, or buttworms, what Sunny and Craner called them. <laughs> and then we got silkworms, birch saplings, and birch wood. We can use hammer. We can use a hammer on the birch wood to get wood chippings and use that as compost. We can use the saplings and silkworms just as they are as compost. Also, so mob farm's going. Everything's going decent right now. Let's put these crooks away because we don't really need them anymore. I'll keep. I'll keep two, two on me though, in case. Right there. Hang on, I'm about to sneeze. <coughs> ah, man. So, now, we have all this cobblestone here still. There's some up here in this chest. And yeah, we got this sextuple compressed cobblestone from a lucky block. Which is pretty sweet, actually. So that'll help a lot. Trying to think of what else we need to do. We need to get some machines. Oh boy. Okay, so really all we need to do is get sieving to get iron and all that extra stuff. So let's make. We really only need like. This is an extra hammer for just hammering. Man. For ha for hammering random stuff. I need to blow my nose, man. And I don't have any tissues. And for some reason, this device I'm using for screencasting doesn't have a way to freak pause it, so... Oh. Well. Lucky me. My brother, I'm in his room recording, and he has a random thing of toilet paper on his desk. I'm kind of sad the music stopped the second I started blowing my nose. That kind of probably hurt your eyes and ears. Because I literally blew my nose and made the noise the second the music stopped playing and then started playing again. Man. Um, so yeah, all we need really... Let's put some cobblestone in here. We only need two, so... Well, actually, no, we need four. And we need four sticks. So, let's get four sticks. There we go. Let's put that all in here for now. Uh, saplings, put those in there with those the silkworms. We'll put the silkworms here, we'll put the wood chips up at the top. You know what, I don't really want to keep these three extra wood chips, so we'll just toss those in the void. Uh, string, we'll put those there, put saplings, each one will have its own specific row. And then we'll put, we'll keep string down at the bottom with the meat, because we don't really need it. Okay, so let's make the two hammers. There we go. We got two stone hammers. So let's start laying all this stuff out back here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we just... You know what? I'm gonna make a builder's wand real quick. It's not called a builder's wand, it's just called a stone wand. It's kind of funky, but, you know. We have extra sticks? No, we don't have extra sticks. Well, we can make two, then. 
Just grab two stone. Okay, there we go. That's enough for two builder's wands. Bam. And now all we gotta do is just fill this in here, fill that in there, and then we just do these. And then that. And then let's do this up three. There we go. And then we just fill this in here with our wand. Like that. There we go. And then we do that. There we go. That should be... Yeah, that was a stack right there. So now all we gotta do is just fill this in here. There we go. So yeah, doing this whole wall once is a stack. Forgot a spot here. There we go. And then yeah, we just do this. Is it, did it break? No, it didn't break yet. And then we'll have, okay, that should be good. So now we just break this down. That's the one hammer down. And this is the second hammer. Bam. Okay, so that's four stacks of gravel right there. Toss out this extra hammer. There we go. Okay, so now we just sieve all of this. All the gravel. Sieve it all. Jam with me. This is nice background music for gaming videos, that's for sure. There we go. Let's just add that now. Okay, so let's save the rest i don't know how much of what we had so we'll just keep on saving all this and then see what we have at the in the end okay Ooh, 54 iron 13 that's op okay so what do we we have two iron here so that's 15 uh, we have two iron in here. That's another iron. So that's 16. Yeah, that's 16. So let's spread that out equally. Okay, so let's cook that here. Cook that there. Cook that there. Okay. Ooh, we got 61 coal. Refuel time. Nice. That's great. Okay. So now let's just wait for the rest of this to cook. Uh, thank you, and thank you, oh this is almost done here, thank you, thank you, 16, nice, and then we got these other pieces in here for all these other ores. That we can use in the future. Oh, we got copper ones. That's good. We need a lot of copper for those capacitors. Okay. I feel like the alloy smelter would be the way to go. So let's keep this extra iron and get in here. There we go. So we need to make a cauldron. We need 24 cobblestone to make three furnaces and then we need four iron bars keep one of those in there take that thank you uh we can put that there put that there okay we should have everything 
Yeah, that should be everything. So we put that there, put those two redstone there, and then we put the gold nuggets there. We get a base capacitor. We surround that with iron bars and put iron in the corners. Did it wrong. There we go. Machine chassis. Now we put that in the center, put the cauldron around it, put the three furnaces there. Bam, we got an alloy smelter. Okay. So let's give that power by putting it right under here. And then this will automatically just start to make power. And see, it takes the bucket out and puts it back in. And it's automatically refilled. How awesome is that? That's amazing. Um, actually, I don't even know if we need that up there. I feel like we could automate it anyway with, with just... Uh, um, Push-pull. Does that work? I don't know if that'll work. We gotta wait for that to finish up. Seven minutes on one bucket? Well, oh, that's OP. Well, we gotta wait seven minutes then. Let's go check on the mob farm drops. We eat. We've been doing a lot of stuff. Okay. So let's look in here. We got common loot bags. We can open some of these. Maybe we could get some saplings. Normal saplings. Nope, we got a jungle. Paper. Ooh, prismarine crystals. And we got an orange flag. Ooh, cyan flag. Got a common... Ooh, silicon. Uh, anything else? No. Actually, yes. We got the rotten flesh in here that we can use as compost also. Okay, so let's go craft all this into into uh, compressed flesh blocks. Bam. 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 And... Bam. And then we can compress this. Bam. Do we have any extra rotten flesh lying around? leaving for work yeah oh, she's leaving for work. <sighs> this is all random stuff we can just keep down there uh, let's actually put those away with the machine stuffs paper we'll put that in there oh we gotta hang up our flags somewhere let's hang them up here I know we have some other flags lying around in here. Uh, we got a shield, no, yeah, here we go. Light gray flag. Any others? No, I don't think so. Okay, well, let's just hang up this gray one. Nice. Um, now we can use this compress co compressed flesh block as instant uh, instant compost so okay what else do we need to do we need to do more um, sitting so let's make four hammers So that's four stacks. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that's eight stacks. Yeah, eight stacks. So basically, we, we can make a stack of furnaces right there. Okay, so we need eight sticks. So one log. Okay, so we got the hammers, put the extra hammer there, put those hammers there. Okay, so let's get to building this thing. Bam, 
That's a stack. Just use our builder's wand on the rest. Helped a lot. That was a lot faster with the builder's wand. I might have to make maybe an iron one. Maybe a gold one. Can you make a gold one? Wand. You can't. Only stone, iron, and diamond. That alloy smelter will be helpful for smelting stuff because it's a powered furnace, basically, is what it is. Did we forget a layer? We shouldn't have two extras. Eh. Yeah, it shouldn't matter. I probably just missed layer somewhere. Somewhere in there I missed a small area of two blocks and didn't fill it in. But it, there's no super big problem with that. We'll just place the two on the top, hoping that it's all even. Okay, so we still got these stacks left. Oh wait! Let's just build this extra layer up here on the top. There we go. Okay. Fill this all in with cobblestone. Nice. Okay. We got a big chunk of cobble going here. A really big chunk. And this was only made possible by cobblestone generator. There we go. Here's the last sack. Hopefully this will be a perfect rectangular prism. Bam. Now we just hammer down. Get all the hammers out. Nice, we got all eight stacks. Well, let's toss. Well, we can actually put these together in the crafting and that'll repair it. Okay, then. Well, let's go grab. Uh, let's go grab our dirt from over here and fill these barrels up after we eat. this up with blood blocks it's basically what they are flesh blocks is what they actually are but okay so let's get sieving one two three four
Okay, well. Itchy ear, man. You know what? Let's go grab a stack of cobble and hammer it down. The reason I'm doing this is because each set is off by one if it's divided by nine. And each time we do it, it's nine gravel. So it's easier to just do it when we have nine, like a number divisible by nine that's a lot in our inventory that we can just kind of hold down. We don't, have, we don't have to have like three extras at the same time. We can just do it all equally like this. Yeah, you don't have to clip it, clip, clip. You don't have to click it a bunch, you can just hold, which is a lot faster, so. That's always helpful. It's gonna add the extra nine right now, so we don't have to worry about it later on. This music is great. A stack of iron ore pieces. That's OP. There we go. We got more music playing. Okay, let's keep going. Pulled my mouse up. It's not a very bright light, actually. Let's see if you guys can see it. It's kind of annoying. I'm gonna put that down now. It's like a it's like a cat trying to chase a laser. Okay, let's keep on sitting. See how much iron we can get. I know we already have 16 guaranteed because we had that whole stack of iron ore pieces. I'm also gonna see how long we've been recording for now. 33 minutes. Well, I think it might be that time, if you know what I mean, to end the episode. Because we've got a lot done. And a lot of off-cam sieving will be done if we uh, just kind of end it here and I'll do some sieving off-cam. It'll all be fine and dandy if we do that. Oh, we got two stacks. We broke the game, guys. <laughs> we broke the game. <laughs> well, let's get all of our ore pieces out and cook all the ores. Okay, so... Or a piece, or a piece, or a piece, or a piece. Get it all out. Not the seeds. We don't want those. Where are they at? Yeah, we don't want those. Put all this stuff here. Okay. So, let's combine all that. Combine all of that. Combine all that. All of that. This. This. That and 
that. There we go. Ooh, now we got even more coal. Nice. Hang on, let me take all the coal out of here and redistribute it. Nice. That's a lot of fuel. Put the dirt away. Okay then. Well, it's about that time, everybody. Got new armor on and all that stuff. It's about time that we go. Because I'm gonna do... Off cam, this is my plan. I'm gonna get... The conduits. Like, the power conduits to transfer power to the machines. And hopefully I'm gonna do a crap ton more sieving. Get some iron. Make the machines for the auto sieving. I won't do any auto sieving and auto hammering off cam. I'm just gonna make the stuff for that. So, hopefully that goes well. I'll see you guys tomorrow or maybe later today in a live stream. Who knows? But yeah, I'll see you guys sometime soon. Hopefully tomorrow. But yeah, that should be good. See you guys later.